settled across West Central Ohio today. Temperatures this afternoon climbed into the 60s. In fact, just within the last hour, we've climbed to 62 degrees. That's after this morning's low of 47. So far, a tenth of an inch of rain. Likely more is on the way as this line of showers and thunderstorms is moving in quickly from the west. But the good news is, as we check out this loop over the past hour or so, definitely seeing a weakening trend with this activity as it's pushing eastward. So as we zoom in, we can see showers, perhaps a rumble of thunder impacting Continental and Kaleida. Next up is Ottawa and Columbus Grove. But uh, quite a bit less intense than the activity was just a, a half hour or so ago. And again, a gusty shower likely as we go forward through the next half hour, and then that precipitation will move along. Same idea to the south, a gusty shower impacting western portions of Allen and Auglaize counties, a bit of a heavier downpour around St. Mary's, and that will be moving into Wapakoneta over the next half hour. Lima likely will see a shower, but uh, again, this is below severe limits, thankfully, and it looks as though this line will continue to track to the east after about 8 or 9 o'clock. The chances for rain will diminish considerably. It's going to get quite cool late tonight compared to the weather of this afternoon as a cold front pushes to the east. Back to the west, lots of cloud cover over Iowa, over portions of Missouri, and that's going to be here tomorrow. So with the clouds, definitely a cooler trend. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon only in the 40s. Winds on the gusty side out of the south, upwards of 40 miles per hour in and around Lima. But check it out, back to the west in Van Wert and in Defiance, winds are uh, moving in from a westerly direction. That's behind the front, so that front is crossing our local area rather quickly. It's down to 51 degrees in Van Wert, still 62 for Lima, 62 degrees to the south in Wapakoneta. Our sky cast shows that that cold front will be marching to the east over the next few hours. By 8 p.m., most of this activity off to the east of our viewing area. A shower, thunderstorm perhaps for Wyandotte County by then. But after 9 or 10, no chance of any rain locally. Just some lingering clouds late tonight. Clouds tomorrow morning, some limited breaks of sun tomorrow afternoon, but more cloudy than not. It looks quite chilly tomorrow night under a clear sky. Sunshine and some fair weather clouds on Thursday. Sunshine and a couple of extra clouds on Friday. Saturday, our weather pattern changes again. A disturbance moves in from the west. Likely we'll see some rain with that. Right now, it looks as though that will clear the area by Easter Sunday. Clouds and peaks of sunshine expected by then, along with seasonable temperatures. So for this evening, temperatures fall back quickly once that front goes through. By late tonight and early tomorrow morning, down to 39 degrees for Delphus, 36 degrees in Van Wert. Tomorrow afternoon, highs only climbing back into the mid to upper 40s, a far cry from today's high of 62. Looks chilly tomorrow night, below freezing. And then Thursday afternoon with sunshine, temperatures climbing back to right around 50 degrees. So we've got the shower or storm threat for the next few hours. Otherwise, cloudy, windy, and colder, 39. Clouds tomorrow, breezy, but not as windy as today, 48 are predicted high. The seven-day storm authority forecast looks like this. On Thursday, sunshine, lower 50s. More sunshine for Friday, upper 50s by then. Showers likely Saturday. Right now, Easter Sunday looks cloudy to partly sunny with perhaps a stray shower most of the day dry. Better bet for rain by Monday and Tuesday of next week. Back to you at the desk.